Good afternoon, Jeffrey Lambrix. Good afternoon, Mark uh, Messimer. Mark Messimer, um, nice to see you. We've been working together for a lot of years. We've been doing product launches for all these years, and we're ready with a new launch. It's a member benefit, no additional charge to, to our subscribers, and it's aligned showings. Now we've got, there's sort of two different parts. You got the listing side, listing agent side and the buyer's agent side. Um, we're gonna dive into the listing side first, correct? That's correct, yeah. yeah. And I'll I'll have to, I'll have to, well, I'll start with the listing side, then I'll show the buyer's side, and then I'll okay. show what happens when the buyers actually schedule the showing. So I will find, I will terminate it or finish it off with the listing side again. Okay, what it looks like when it comes back to you. So right. fantastic. Okay, so we start in listing management and you must have a active listing. You must have an active listing. So here, um, if you have an active listing, you're just gonna click on the select an action dropdown menu okay. and you're gonna select manage showings. Okay. Okay, so once you click on Manage Showings, it's going to take you to the landing page of Align Showings for that particular property. Okay. And the first thing you'll see is Listing Setup up here, and there's the Edit Details button right there. There are four simple steps in here that you can do. Uh, so the first one is, do you want to allow the property to be shown? Um, this could be a yes, no. So for whatever reason, let's just say you don't want showings anymore, you can make it no. Okay. Or the first time you come here, you're going to have to make it yes. This one's already yes. Got it. The second one is uh, overlapping appointments. So if you don't want um, two groups of potential buyers coming at the same time to the property, you can say, hey, I don't want any overlapping appointments. Okay. Good. So it's pretty nice. You can also set the duration of your total time for appointments. It goes from 10 minutes all the way to 60 minutes. Right below that is your approval, how you're going to uh, handle approval. So you can do instant approval or you can require approval. Um, so the listing agent basically would have to approve the, the request first. Okay, one by one. Okay. One by one, yeah. It's pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, the next one is lockbox. That one's just pretty straightforward. You know, it's got electronic lockbox. And then below here is where you can select how are these uh, showing arrangements, meaning will the uh, seller of the property be on the premises or just right. the agent or both. You can select either one of these or leave it blank. Okay. Completely optional. Then we have the request callback. So this is to somebody sends a, a request to the listing agent. By checking this box, the listing agent is going to require a, um, a callback. A phone call to follow up with. Okay. Correct. And then there's additional instructions that you can put in, for example, super log box on the front porch or whatever you want to Type in. So that's step one. Okay. Step two is very simple. Step two will show who is involved in this listing. By default, the listing agent's name is going to be here. Okay. But the listing agent maybe is working with a team, so the listing agent can add additional contacts here. And once they have additional contacts, they can choose how they want to receive the showing notifications. Okay. If there's just one person, they automatically receive it. Right. But if there's more more than one. You can say, oh, I don't want the listing agent to receive the notification. I just want the team members okay. to receive it. So you can choose whatever of, you want to do. Lots there. of flexibility there. That's great. And you get some instruction space again. Yeah. You can put additional instructions for your team. So that's uh, pretty nice as well. Cool. That's step two. So step three is all about who's in the house. Is it seller occupied, tenant occupied? Got it. Always and, important. Oh, yeah. And here, this is a really nice tool. If you want to allow your your um, tenant or the tenant of the house or the seller of the home right. to approve those appointments on your behalf, you can put them in here as well. Okay. But so you like have the option. A... You can you can do the listing agent can approve it. The team's member from the listing agent can do it. Right. Or the tenant slash uh, owner of the property. Okay. And this step three is optional, it says. So that's good to know. Completely optional. Yeah. Okay. And then the next step is the uh, time restrictions. So this is where you can say, you know what? My client doesn't feel comfortable showing the home between you know, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Right. For whatever reason. So we're just going to block that off. Okay. Or maybe they don't, I don't want to show it on Saturdays or Wednesdays or whatever it is you that you want to block off. You can block off certain dates, uh, like the whole day. Right. Or you can do, you can block off dates within segments uh, of time. Days. Okay. And mm -hmm. times as well. So really tailored to that to the seller's needs. Good. Yeah. So it's pretty powerful. 
And that's kind of it on the listing side. So now okay. this listing is ready to be is ready for setup. You just hit done and you're done. All right. So now that you've set up your listing, it's ready to be shown to buyer's agent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and pretend I'm a buyer's agent. Okay. So we're going to jump on the matrix side here. We'll look at a listing as if you were a buyer's agent and you just found this listing. Oh, you know, this is perfect for my client. I want to show it okay. to my client. Now, and this is the agent full report. Let's point that out because this is where that, that link agent shows Agent full up. report. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. And if the um, the property has aligned showings, it's it will always be located below the image. Okay. As you can see here, it says schedule a showing. Perfect. So all the buyer's agent has to do is click on this link. So now that you've clicked on um, schedule showing, it'll take you to the landing page for that page. And the first thing you're asked to do is to select which date you want to have a showing for your client. So you have the calendar here, just for example, we'll do 29th. Then you click on next. The next thing is the uh, time that you want to choose for your clients. And this can go, this can be pushed up and down. Okay, so you can also change the duration or the length, I should say, of the appointment. And this is based on the settings of the listing agent that we saw earlier. Setting, right. right. So let's just say, you know, my client wants 20 minutes. I'm going to do 20 minutes and we'll do 11 a.m. Um, so I can s click on next and just want to point out one thing. If this were a, a, uh, a section of the time that was blocked off, right. the system would not allow me to select it. Oh, you wouldn't be able to land there. Okay. That's correct. Okay. You would have a big red thing around that saying you can't do that. Got it. So yeah, uh, it wouldn't let you go through basically. Uh, but, but because this one allows me to, I can go ahead and select it. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. Now I can enter a message to the buyer's um, the buyer's agent. Oh, sorry, to the listing agent, my bad. Um, and that's purely optional, right? You know, I have a client who's really interested in seeing that house or whatever it is. Right. And then you just hit send and you're done on the buyer on the buyer's agent side. Okay. So three steps on the buyer's agent side. That's pretty easy. Um, Very easy. Yeah. So now um, let's go back to that listing agent side because I want to see who signed up for the 20, Saturday the 29th at 11 o'clock, right? That's correct. Okay. So I'm going to step back, step, change hats again. I'm now going to go back to the, <laughs> okay. to the listing agent. And the listing agent is going to come to this page after they receive an email. Right. They can click on the email, gets, gets over here. And right up here, there's an alerts um, Got it. section, okay. and there's also a message messages section. So under the alerts section is where they can go and see what the alerts are. Got it. Who and signed it could up be for what? Showing okay. request approved or or showing request uh, showing requested as up here. Got it. Um, so it says showing showing request requested. <laughs> And then once the listing agent clicks on that, they can okay. either approve or reject it. Once they approve it, it'll show as showing okay. request approved. So this is that audit list. This is, it, it grabs every single thing that took place um, as, as showing slots were ordered, approved, and, and completed. Nice. And it keeps in the entire track of any communications you've had with the buyer's agent right here in this in this uh page okay. so it's really nice okay. the alerts will sh will pop up like there'll be a little icon if you haven't looked at it since the last time and there's something right. new okay you can also go to messages and view the entire conversation got it and that's good and for that transaction pack you know people they always want to have this tucked away to put into um the community you know all the communications that took place um as the property got shown also a good thing to have available um to talk about you with your client uh, the seller so Great. Yeah. Uh, and this is where the listing agent where they click on approve or okay. decline appointments. Um, and then the other thing is we can, as the listing agent, I can go to my calendar nice. and see what do I have scheduled for showings. And you have the color code here. So the greens are approved, yeah. right? The red ones are declined, like this one over here. And then you have the other ones that are expired, canceled, Got or it. requested. So this is a really nice tool to to know that you know your overview, and I did want to mention one thing: when you get the request to add your you know to allow the showings, 
you can add that to your calendar, just like today, if you were to, to receive a um, an appointment request, you know how you have the option to add it to oh, yeah. your Google Calendar right. or your Outlook Calendar? It'll have that option as well. Okay, cool. So Keep it's it pretty nice. Spots. Yeah, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about is reports. Reports allows you to look at an individual property and see how many showings they've had in the last uh, 30 days, seven days, or total. Good. Gives you the frequencies and such. Good. Yeah. So pretty nice tool. And uh, like I said, super simple to use. And you can schedule your showing right now today and get started. Wonderful. Jeffrey, um, if they have any kind of feedback, they they love the tool, would like to see anything added, um, feedback at MLSlistings.com, correct? Absolutely. Feedback okay. at MLSlistings.com is, is the inbox that we check all the time for anything related to enhancement requests or something they they want to see different or maybe they don't right. like the color or the font or whatever yeah, it is. Anything. Yeah. Let us know. <laughs> any product, anything, feedback at MLSlistings.com. Hey, Jeffrey, thanks for being with us today and getting everybody up to speed on Align Showings. Um, getting ready to launch it here pretty quick. Going to be fun to see the feedback that comes in for it. So thanks for being with us. We'll Thank see you all soon. All right.